Computer hardware engineers help to accelerate new computer technology by creating advancements in computer hardware. They develop computer systems and equipment such as circuit boards, routers, processors, and memory devices. They analyze complex equipment to determine the best way to improve it, and design new types of information technology devices. They identify problems in computer hardware, and test possible solutions. They also explore the best way to implement the new changes. They often work together with software engineers, since both are often connected to the development of certain products. For example, developing a mobile phone requires both hardware and software engineering skills. Hardware engineers also design non-computer devices, such as car parts or medical devices that are connected to the Internet and have hardware systems embedded in them. Computer hardware engineers help to accelerate new computer technology by creating advancements in computer hardware. They develop computer systems and equipment such as circuit boards, routers, processors, and memory devices. They analyze complex equipment to determine the best way to improve it, and design new types of information technology devices. They identify problems in computer hardware, and test possible solutions. They also explore the best way to implement the new changes. They often work together with software engineers, since both are often connected to the development of certain products. For example, developing a mobile phone requires both hardware and software engineering skills. Hardware engineers also design non-computer devices, such as car parts or medical devices that are connected to the Internet and have hardware systems embedded in them. A flowchart is a diagram that depicts a process, system or computer algorithm. They are widely used in multiple fields to document, study, plan, improve and communicate often complex processes in clear, easy to understand diagrams. Flowcharts, sometimes spelled as flowcharts, use rectangles, ovals, diamonds and potentially numerous other shapes to define the type of step, along with connecting arrows to define flow and sequence. They can range from simple, hand-drawn charts to comprehensive computer-drawn diagrams depicting multiple steps and routes. If we consider all the various forms of flowcharts, they are one of the most common diagrams on the planet, used by both technical and non-technical people in numerous fields. A flowchart is a diagram that depicts a process, system or computer algorithm. They are widely used in multiple fields to document, study, plan, improve and communicate often complex processes in clear, easy to understand diagrams. Flowcharts, sometimes spelled as flowcharts, use rectangles, ovals, diamonds and potentially numerous other shapes to define the type of step, along with connecting arrows to define flow and sequence. They can range from simple, hand-drawn charts to comprehensive computer-drawn diagrams depicting multiple steps and routes. If we consider all the various forms of flowcharts, they are one of the most common diagrams on the planet, used by both technical and non-technical people in numerous fields. The mammalian tongue consists of a mass of interwoven, striated muscles interspaced with glands and fat and covered with mucous membrane. In humans the front tips and margins of the tongue usually touch the teeth, aiding in swallowing and speech. The top surface, or dorsum, contains numerous projections of the mucous membrane called papillae. They contain taste buds, which are sensitive to chemical constituents of food, and serous glands that secrete some of the fluid in saliva a substance that moistens the oral cavity and helps lubricate food particles. The base, or upper rear portion, of the tongue has no papillae, but aggregated lymphatic tissue and serous and mucus secreting glands are present. The inferior, or under, surface lies from the tip of the tongue to the floor of the mouth, its mucous membrane is smooth, devoid of papillae, and purple in color from the many blood vessels present. The root, the remainder of the underside that lies on the mouth's floor, contains bundles of nerves, arteries, and muscles that branch to the other tongue regions. The mammalian tongue consists of a mass of interwoven, striated muscles interspaced with glands and fat and covered with mucous membrane. In humans the front tips and margins of the tongue usually touch the teeth, aiding in swallowing and speech. The top surface, 
or dorsum, contains numerous projections of the mucous membrane called papillae. They contain taste buds, which are sensitive to chemical constituents of food, and serous glands that secrete some of the fluid in saliva, a substance that moistens the oral cavity and helps lubricate food particles. The base, or upper rear portion, of the tongue has no papillae, but aggregated lymphatic tissue and serous and mucous secreting glands are present. The inferior, or under, surface leads from the tip of the tongue to the floor of the mouth, its mucous membrane is smooth, devoid of papillae, and purple in color from the many blood vessels present. The root, the remainder of the underside that lies on the mouth's floor, contains bundles of nerves, arteries, and muscles that branch to the other tongue regions. Ointments, another class of delivery system used in the topical function, help to enhance ocular BA along with sustained delivery of the drug. Ointments are prepared by using a combination of semi-solid and solid hydrocarbons having ability to soften or a melting point nearer to body temperature. They should be non-irritating in nature and should not cause an allergic response to the eye. Ointments could be simple bases or compound bases. The drug delivery with ointment is associated with some disadvantages such as relatively poor patient compliance, which may be the result of occasional irritation and blurring of vision. The ointments, suspension, and emulsion are associated with certain drawbacks like irritation and redness of eye and interference with vision. Ointments, another class of delivery system used in the topical function, help to enhance ocular BA along with sustained delivery of the drug. Ointments are prepared by using a combination of semi-solid and solid hydrocarbons having ability to soften or a melting point nearer to body temperature. They should be non-irritating in nature and should not cause an allergic response to the eye. Ointments could be simple bases or compound bases. The drug delivery with ointment is associated with some disadvantages such as relatively poor patient compliance, which may be the result of occasional irritation and blurring of vision. The ointments, suspension, and emulsion are associated with certain drawbacks like irritation and redness of eye and interference with vision. When geologists talk about mud, they are referring to tiny particles that stick together when wet. Those particles have often broken down from larger rocks over time due to the forces of wind, rain, ice and snow. Fungi and microbes can break down rock and form mud, too. Before plants arrived on land, mud was around, it was just mostly sent to the seafloor by rivers. Once plants showed up, they not only held sediments in place but their roots also physically broke down rock and released chemicals that further crumbled it. In these ways, plants accelerated what geologists refer to as the continental mud factory. When geologists talk about mud, they are referring to tiny particles that stick together when wet. Those particles have often broken down from larger rocks over time due to the forces of wind, rain, ice and snow. Fungi and microbes can break down rock and form mud, too. Before plants arrived on land, mud was around, it was just mostly sent to the seafloor by rivers. Once plants showed up. They not only held sediments in place but their roots also physically broke down rock and released chemicals that further crumbled it. In these ways, plants accelerated what geologists refer to as the continental mud factory. Arithmetic, branch of mathematics in which numbers, relations among numbers, and observations on numbers are studied and used to solve problems. Arithmetic refers generally to the elementary aspects of the theory of numbers, arts of mensuration, and numerical computation, that is, the processes of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, raising to powers, and extraction of roots. Its meaning, however, has not been uniform in mathematical usage. An eminent German mathematician, Carl Friedrich Gauss, and certain modern-day mathematicians have used the term to include more advanced topics. The reader interested in the latter is referred to the article number theory. In a collection of objects, the act of determining the number of objects present is called counting. The numbers thus obtained are called the counting numbers or natural numbers. 
arithmetic, branch of mathematics in which numbers, relations among numbers, and observations on numbers are studied and used to solve problems. Arithmetic refers generally to the elementary aspects of the theory of numbers, arts of mensuration, and numerical computation, that is, the processes of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, raising to powers, and extraction of roots. Its meaning, however, has not been uniform in mathematical usage. An eminent German mathematician, Carl Friedrich Gauss, and certain modern-day mathematicians have used the term to include more advanced topics. The reader interested in the latter is referred to the article number theory. In a collection of objects, the act of determining the number of objects present is called counting. The numbers thus obtained are called the counting numbers or natural numbers. Since the 1960s, geologists have noticed that rivers that flowed before plants arrived on land often look different in the geological record than those that formed once continents greened. The earliest rivers resembled those that tumble along the gravelly coast of Alaska today, says Taylor Perrin, an earth scientist at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge who wrote about the factors that control landscape formation in the 2017 Annual Review of Earth and Planetary Sciences. Since the 1960s, geologists have noticed that rivers that flowed before plants arrived on land often look different in the geological record than those that formed once continents greened. The earliest rivers resembled those that tumble along the gravelly coast of Alaska today, says Taylor Perrin, an earth scientist at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge who wrote about the factors that control landscape formation in the 2017 Annual Review of Earth and Planetary Sciences. Diode, an electrical component that allows the flow of current in only one direction. In circuit diagrams, a diode is represented by a triangle with a line across one vertex. The most common type of diode uses a PN junction. In this type of diode, one material, N, in which electrons are charge carriers abuts a second material, P, in which holes act as charge carriers. At their interface, a depletion region is formed across which electrons diffuse to fill holes in the P side. This stops the further flow of electrons. When this junction is forward biased, electrons can easily move across the junction to fill the holes, and a current flows through the diode. When the junction is reverse biased, the depletion region widens and electrons cannot easily move across. The current remains very small until a certain voltage is reached and the current suddenly increases. Diode, an electrical component that allows the flow of current in only one direction. In circuit diagrams, a diode is represented by a triangle with a line across one vertex. The most common type of diode uses a PN junction. In this type of diode, one material, N, in which electrons are charge carriers abuts a second material, P, in which holes act as charge carriers. At their interface, a depletion region is formed across which electrons diffuse to fill holes in the P side. This stops the further flow of electrons. When this junction is forward biased, Electrons can easily move across the junction to fill the holes, and a current flows through the diode. When the junction is reverse biased, the depletion region widens and electrons cannot easily move across. The current remains very small until a certain voltage is reached and the current suddenly increases. Synchronization is revealed as a group of elements, or systems, with a collective coherent response that can be in phase for a long period of time. For example, people filling an auditorium will start to plotting at an incoherent rhythm, but a few seconds later the auditorium will have uniform sound because all the applause will synchronize. Synchronization will happen regardless of the strength of each individual beat. In this example, we can consider that each individual response is autonomous, but there is weak connection among individuals that makes them to applause in phase. Therefore, in such systems, a relatively small force can adjust phase and frequency without affecting the amplitude, this adjustment is in essence the source of synchronization. The question is what causes this force, and how this force is transmitted. Synchronization is revealed as a group of elements, 
or systems, with a collective coherent response that can be in phase for a long period of time. For example, people filling an auditorium will start to plotting at an incoherent rhythm, but a few seconds later the auditorium will have uniform sound because all the applause will synchronize. Synchronization will happen regardless of the strength of each individual beat. In this example, we can consider that each individual response is autonomous, but there is weak connection among individuals that makes them to applause in phase. Therefore, in such systems, a relatively small force can adjust phase and frequency without affecting the amplitude, this adjustment is in essence the source of synchronization. The question is what causes this force, and how this force is transmitted. Optics, science concerned with the genesis and propagation of light, the changes that it undergoes and produces, and other phenomena closely associated with it. There are two major branches of optics, physical and geometrical. Physical optics deals primarily with the nature and properties of light itself. Geometrical optics has to do with the principles that govern the image forming properties of lenses, mirrors, and other devices that make use of light. It also includes optical data processing, which involves the manipulation of the information content of an image formed by coherent optical systems. Optics, science concerned with the genesis and propagation of light, the changes that it undergoes and produces, and other phenomena closely associated with it. There are two major branches of optics, physical and geometrical. Physical optics deals primarily with the nature and properties of light itself. Geometrical optics has to do with the principles that govern the image forming properties of lenses, mirrors, and other devices that make use of light. It also includes optical data processing, which involves the manipulation of the information content of an image formed by coherent optical systems. Many examples exist in nature, people walking on a soft bridge, the flapping of a group of birds, cardiac pacemakers, turbine rotor blades, similar machines in a production line, etc. In this type of systems the individual elements are very similar, but they are mounted on relatively soft structures. Therefore, according to the type of structure and the connection among them, we can identify two types of synchronization, slave-master synchronization or structural synchronization. In the slave-master type, there is a dominant element setting the rhythm and the remaining elements adjust to it. In the structural synchronization, the phenomenon depends upon the structural stiffness that interconnects all the individual elements. Many examples exist in nature, people walking on a soft bridge, the flapping of a group of birds, cardiac pacemakers, turbine rotor blades, similar machines in a production line, etc. In this type of systems the individual elements are very similar, but they are mounted on relatively soft structures. Therefore, according to the type of structure and the connection among them, we can identify two types of synchronization, slave-master synchronization or structural synchronization. In the slave-master type, there is a dominant element setting the rhythm and the remaining elements adjust to it. In the structural synchronization, the phenomenon depends upon the structural stiffness that interconnects all the individual elements. Originally, the term optics was used only in relation to the eye and vision. Later, as lenses and other devices for aiding vision began to be developed, these were naturally called optical instruments, and the meaning of the term optics eventually became broadened to cover any application of light, even though the ultimate receiver is not the eye but a physical detector, such as a photographic plate or a television camera. In the 20th century optical methods came to be applied extensively to regions of the electromagnetic radiation spectrum not visible to the eye, such as X-rays, ultraviolet, infrared, and microwave radio waves, and to this extent these regions are now often included in the general field of optics. Originally, the term optics was used only in relation to the eye and vision. Later, as lenses and other devices for aiding vision began to be developed, these were naturally called optical instruments, and the meaning of the term optics eventually became broadened to cover any application of light, even though the ultimate receiver is not the eye but a physical detector, such as a photographic plate or a television camera. 
In the 20th century optical methods came to be applied extensively to regions of the electromagnetic radiation spectrum not visible to the eye, such as X-rays, ultraviolet, infrared, and microwave radio waves, and to this extent these regions are now often included in the general field of optics. Switching is an important property in electronic devices. A good static switch is characterized by a high impedance in its off state and a very low impedance in the on condition. The basic physical operation of all the switching devices arises because of the onset of the negative conductance property, which is highly unstable. The instability of the direct current operating point in the negative conductance region of current voltage characteristics of some devices is employed in the design of good electronic switches. The chapter discusses the switching properties of some negative conductance devices, whose switching action can be controlled externally so that a current can be blocked or passed at predetermined levels. A transistor, driven by a suitable base current from the cutoff state to the condition of saturation, serves as an excellent switch. Switching is an important property in electronic devices. A good static switch is characterized by a high impedance in its off state and a very low impedance in the on condition. The basic physical operation of all the switching devices arises because of the onset of the negative conductance property, which is highly unstable. The instability of the direct current operating point in the negative conductance region of current voltage characteristics of some devices is employed in the design of good electronic switches. The chapter discusses the switching properties of some negative conductance devices, whose switching action can be controlled externally so that a current can be blocked or passed at predetermined levels. A transistor, driven by a suitable base current from the cutoff state to the condition of saturation, serves as an excellent switch. As its name suggests, embedded means something that is attached to another thing. An embedded system can be thought of as a computer hardware system having software embedded in it. An embedded system can be an independent system or it can be a part of a large system. An embedded system is a microcontroller or microprocessor-based system which is designed to perform a specific task. For example, a fire alarm is an embedded system, it will sense only smoke. All computing systems have constraints on design metrics, but those on an embedded system can be especially tight. As its name suggests, embedded means something that is attached to another thing. An embedded system can be thought of as a computer hardware system having software embedded in it. An embedded system can be an independent system or it can be a part of a large system. An embedded system is a microcontroller or microprocessor-based system which is designed to perform a specific task. For example, a fire alarm is an embedded system, it will sense only smoke. All computing systems have constraints on design metrics, but those on an embedded system can be especially tight. Home science is the science of a home and it includes all the things that concern a person, home, family members and resources. Home science integrates the application of various sciences and humanities to improve human environment, family nutrition, management of resources and child development. Health education builds students' knowledge, skills and positive attitudes about health. Health education teaches about physical, mental, emotional and social health. It motivates students to improve and maintain their health, prevent disease and reduce risky behaviors. Home science is the science of a home and it includes all the things that concern a person, home, family members and resources. Home science integrates the application of various sciences and humanities to improve human environment, family nutrition, management of resources and child development. Health education builds students' knowledge skills and positive attitudes about health. Health education teaches about physical, mental, emotional and social health. It motivates students to improve and maintain their health, prevent disease and reduce risky behaviors. A 
census is taken in India every 10 years by the government to count the number of people in the country. The census is important to estimate the death rate and growth rate of the population of a country. A census is the counting of the existing population at a fixed time as regards name, age, sex, occupation, date of birth, matrimonial status, number of dependents in a family, race, religion, language spoken, residence etc. A census is taken in India every 10 years by the government to count the number of people in the country. The census is important to estimate the death rate and growth rate of the population of a country. A census is the counting of the existing population at a fixed time as regards name, age, sex, occupation, date of birth, matrimonial status, number of dependents in a family, race, religion, language spoken, residence etc. The gallery offers an exceptional selection of original paintings, multimedia work, glass and sculpture. The gallery has two locations in the Hilton Resort and Spa and the Four Seasons Whistler Resort. The resort itself attracts over 2 million visitors each year and is often rated as number one ski resort in North America. Whistler Contemporary Gallery has been in the art business since 1992 and works with first time and experienced buyers to build their collections. The gallery offers an exceptional selection of original paintings, multimedia work, glass and sculpture. The gallery has two locations in the Hilton Resort and Spa and the Four Seasons Whistler Resort. The resort itself attracts over 2 million visitors each year and is often rated as number one ski resort in North America. Whistler Contemporary Gallery has been in the art business since 1992 and works with first time and experienced buyers to build their collections. Tunnels are the passages that are meant for transportation. It is a transit constructed below the earth or the water surface. They are constructed to facilitate the transfer of goods, people, sewage, water, cables, etc. Many times some tunnels are constructed for the defense system of the country and they are the secret tunnels. India holds the honor of having the world's longest highway tunnel recently constructed in the country and is named as Atal Tunnel. The Atal Tunnel is constructed in Himachal Pradesh under Rotten Pass which is located in the Pipanjal range of Himalayas. Tunnels are the passages that are meant for transportation. It is a transit constructed below the earth or the water surface. They are constructed to facilitate the transfer of goods, people, sewage, water, cables, etc. Many times some tunnels are constructed for the defense system of the country and they are the secret tunnels. India holds the honor of having the world's longest highway tunnel recently constructed in the country and is named as Atal Tunnel. The Atal Tunnel is constructed in Himachal Pradesh, under Rotting Pass which is located in the Pipanjal range of Himalayas. Avocados are a stone fruit with a creamy texture that grow in warm climates. Their potential health benefits include improving digestion, decreasing risk of depression, and protection against cancer. Also known as an alligator pear or butter fruit, the versatile avocado is the only fruit that provides a substantial amount of healthy monounsaturated fatty acids. Avocados are a naturally nutrient-dense food and contain nearly 20 vitamins and minerals. Avocados are a stone fruit with a creamy texture that grow in warm climates. Their potential health benefits include improving digestion, decreasing risk of depression, and protection against cancer. Also known as an alligator pear or butter fruit, the versatile avocado is the only fruit that provides a substantial amount of healthy monounsaturated fatty acids. Avocados are a naturally nutrient-dense food and contain nearly 20 vitamins and minerals. There are two types of fat that can be found in food, saturated and unsaturated. Unsaturated fat can help lower cholesterol and provide essential fatty acid, omega-3. Found in oily fish, such as mackerel, tuna and salmon, avocado, nuts and olive oil, unsaturated fat can also help the body absorb vital vitamins, such as vitamin A, 
D and E saturated fat can be found in cakes, biscuits, crisps, hard cheese and pastry. Eating an excess of saturated fat can lead to health problems, it can raise cholesterol in the blood which, in turn, increases the risk of developing heart disease. There are two types of fat that can be found in food, saturated and unsaturated. Unsaturated fat can help lower cholesterol and provide essential fatty acid, omega-3. Found in oily fish, such as mackerel, tuna and salmon, avocado, nuts and olive oil, unsaturated fat can also help the body absorb vital vitamins, such as vitamin A, D and E. Saturated fat can be found in cakes, biscuits, crisps, hard cheese and pastry. Eating an excess of saturated fat can lead to health problems, it can raise cholesterol in the blood which, in turn, increases the risk of developing heart disease.